with Simon, I, I achieved everything in that that I wanted to achieve. He was talking a lot in the build up of, oh, I'm just white collar this and I've got no experience that and it's going to show on the night. And for them first two, three rounds, I wanted to box. I wanted to show that I could out jab you, that I could out move you, that I was quicker than you, that I could beat you to the punch. Prove all those little things that you was giving it the big and four in the first half. And then I can show you that, no, I'm, I'm better than you. I can beat you on those, on all those things. And then when the opportunity comes, finish him off, get him out of there and, and celebrate my win. Oh, oh, and that's really that's really shot. And that has been a shot that has undone oh. Lily in the past. And there's so much time in the round here. Oh, and Fabio wow. Wardley is opening up on Simon Benelli. Oh, he's in big trouble. And I'm going back with my, my coach has been going for, it was probably in for about three, four years ago. We made a bet that if I ever got dropped in sparring or in a fight or however, if I ever took a knee, got dropped, then I'd have to get his name tattooed on mine. And then if before that happens, I want a belt, then he'd have to get my name tattooed on his arm. And just so happens that I, I won out first. And yeah, he's, um, he, he was a true to his word as well. Full credit to him. 21st of November and come. Sit behind your television and watch No Latte, No Party. After that, that's when I think then people will really start going, you know what, I think he's a genuine contender for this division and he can really do some stuff here. And Ultimately, when I win, I want all the credit. I don't want you to then after say, oh, I didn't do this and I didn't do that and that didn't happen. That's, that's not, to me, that's no excuse. It's a matter of, of skills and what I have versus what he has and what he has is size and a big right hand. What I have is, is, is speed, is sharpness, is quick, reflexes. I can get you without you getting me. And, and they're the things I'm gonna lean on in this fight. What matters to me is is putting on a good performance, is learning from the performance, is, is transferring what I've done in training into the fight and showing that I can do that. Because yeah, it's all fun and games. Anyone can swing a big right hand and maybe get it off and maybe not, but I'm here to be a boxer and be a clean boxer all the way through of, of learning my craft, learning my trade. And it's better now to get them rounds in earlier in my career than it is to 20 fights in and do my first 10 rounds and now I've never been in that kind of situation before and it's, it's new to me. I don't want to be near that. So yeah, if, if the rounds come, the rounds come. But again, there's, there's no point where if I see him go, I'm going to let him off the hook. It's, it's go time. I take no offense in people being a bit skeptical about me because of my, because of my background and lack of experience. That's, that's fair enough. But 
All my job is to prove to you that, that everyone that knows me well enough, that's been around me, is that the things they're saying are true. So that's all my job is. Always, I'm there to, to finish up the opponents. I don't want to ever, I don't ever want to leave it to the judges. That will be what I'm looking to do, is to finish him off. But whether it comes in round one, two, eight, whatever, that doesn't matter to me. But as long as I put on a good performance and then clean him out, I'm, I'm happy. Fucking hell, best time of my life, come on. Come on, 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 come on.